there's no cars that have just a male car charger just sticking up like a dingling so that you can just plug that female into it. No, it's not working. Now I don't know what to do. Hello lovers and welcome back to Travel Snacks. Settle in for today's story time because I'm gonna be sharing the frustrations of my first five days being on the road and sleeping in my car. There's been a lot of irritating things that I didn't even think about and just some dumb things that I ended up doing that I'm not proud of. When I decided to do this West Coast road trip, I decided that I would start at the bottom of Southern California and go all the way to Vancouver and back. To do that, I was thinking that it's gonna be colder up north so instead what I would do is I would hurry up and get to the top to Vancouver and then slowly come back down. So I decided that I would drive about five or six hours a day, which would get me to Vancouver in about five days. All right, so I started in San Diego. I have a friend there. So I decided to stay at her house the first night and I had ordered some packages to her house that I needed for my trip. So cool, packages arrived. I stayed there taking a shower and then leaving about 5 p.m. When I left, it was really nice. It was sunset, and in California, there's been like a lot of fires. I haven't seen any fires or smelled fires, but the air quality was definitely like really dingy, and with the sunset, it was just like really beautiful and also kind of a little bit spooky, but it was really nice. Just the drive, just being able to see the ocean. It was just really pretty, and I decided that I would stop in the LA area in Marina Del Rey, which is a beach town. It's very safe. So I went there and then I found a residential area and then I just posted up. But I was up at like six in the morning. So I just like got up, changed in the car and then just left. Since my two sons live in downtown LA, I wanted to go see them and visit them because I was gonna be on this road trip for about a month and not be able to see them for a while. But I also was having packages, other packages from Amazon delivered to one of my son's house. As you can tell, I'm an Amazon addict. Plus for this trip, I needed so many things. And it was getting to be about noon and I knew I wanted to get on the road and get some distance. I waited and the packages didn't arrive so I was bummed out. But the packages that I got in San Diego, I wanted to leave those boxes at his house so that I don't clutter up my back seat or my trunk because I have it all organized. And so I handed him the boxes and then I was like, goodbye, goodbye, you know, and then I took off and I'm like driving for a few hours and I'm like, bro, I just gave him those packages and didn't take my stuff out. That was the first dumb thing that I did that I was like so irritated by myself. Dumb thing, didn't have that stuff. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just got to deal with it. So anyways, I drove for quite a while and on that long drive, it was a really beautiful trip up the coast, Santa Barbara, San Luis Obispo, Santa Cruz. There was just like a lot of beach towns, really beautiful. But I wanted to get close to the San Francisco area to like get as far up as I could. Okay, so I got to San Jose and I decided, okay, so I had recorded some videos in Marina Del Rey while I was there at the, at the marina. And so I decided that I would start editing my videos. I'm sitting there and I need to charge up my, you know, when you're traveling and you're recording, there's a lot of things you got to keep charged up. So I'm looking around and I'm like, where's all my camera stuff? It just hits me and I'm like, is it still plugged in at home? I call my mom, I'm like, mom, go in my room, go look on the wall and see if there's some charging stuff. And she comes back on the phone, she's like, yeah, all the stuff is here. I'm like, bro. You gotta get it together. You are effing up. I was upset at myself and I was like, what the F am I gonna do? So I had to stop worrying about editing or recording and I had to like get on my computer because I wanted to order stuff on Amazon to get it delivered. But I'm like, I don't know where I'm gonna be. So even for Prime, for whatever reason, because it was like one day delivery, it was gonna be like $17. So I kept just like going on Amazon, picking different Amazon lockers. If you don't know what an Amazon locker is, it's basically, Different stores like GNC, Rite Aid, 7-Eleven, like some libraries, there's a lot of different places. They have these like Amazon lockers and you can have your stuff shipped there, but you kind of have to know where you're going. I sat up there for like two hours. It was, just, it was straight chaos. I finally found a spot near Portland because I knew that I could make it to around the Portland, Oregon area. I also went to check Walmart and Best Buy for these items. And of course they didn't have any stuff. I don't even know why, like how Best Buy is still in business. Like. It's so expensive and they don't have any of the stuff that I ever need. And then what's really cool, a little side thing that was very uplifting is that I do have a friend. She is an Oakland firefighter. She's awesome. And I wanted to visit her, but she was on duty and I was like, well, I want to visit you, but I'll come visit you on my way back down. 
And she's like, you can come to the firehouse. And I was like, cool. So I went there and got to sit in the fire engine and she showed me all the stuff. And it was just like such a cool experience. So shout out to my friend Paula, she's the best. Then I was telling her about my car travels and she's like, well, where are you gonna like shower and go to the bathroom and eat and all these things? And I was like, oh, I was telling her all the stuff. And she's like, well, you can shower here if you want because we have everything here. Really? Okay, cool. So that was a good thing that I was able to take a shower there. I hung out with her at the fire station for a little while, but I knew I had to get back on the road because like I had to be at a certain spot to get my stuff. It's like so hectic. It wasn't like when I was planning this trip, I wanted it to be really calm and relaxing, but just with this, with me leaving my stuff, it caused a lot of extra chaos. I wanted to make it to like Shasta Lake area but I was driving for quite a while and I was getting tired and so I decided to stop in Redding, California. Now, when I looked up Redding, because I always look up these cities to see what their like crime rating is, but when I looked up Redding, it wasn't super favorable in terms of safety, but I was like, I'm so tired. And so I looked for homes, like nice homes in that area. And actually I found some really nice areas. So I ended up parking on this very lovely residential area with nice big houses and it was super super misty and foggy and it was kind of creepy but it was like a really nice area i drove around for a long time just trying to find the right spot so i wouldn't be in somebody's like front driveway or whatever got my back seat went to sleep and everything was fine got up in the morning i decided that i was going to try to record some videos but my batteries were dying that's one of the things i didn't have and so you can see here how frustrated I am. Hello lovers and welcome back to Travel Snacks. I'm s I'm currently in Redding, California. I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot ready to edit my video and then I realized that my computer is dying so I plug in this little portable power bank that I bought for $80 and when I try to edit it makes these like scratchy crazy sounds so I'm like is my computer gonna blow up? This thing is like a power bank knockoff and they sent me a car charger that has a female end instead of a male end. So like what car has a male thing sticking up out of like, there's no cars that have just a male car charger just sticking up like a dingling so that you can just plug that female into it. No, it's not working. So now I don't know what to do. One thing that's gonna help me not be so frustrated is if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So I go into a Starbucks to plug in all my stuff but my computer was at like 2% and it was just like so glitchy I couldn't do anything and I sat there for another like two or three hours and I was like, I cannot with this day. I was so pissed. This is not a good start to this trip. <laughs> I'm at this parking garage in Vancouver and I'm at the top level where there's like hardly any cars but this guy in a truck just comes and parks right next to me gets on his phone is talking outside blasts up his effing truck and is also smoking a cigarette I'm like bro why so I stayed at that Starbucks for quite a while and I decided you know nothing's working let me just get on the road I hurried up and went to the Portland area to go get my Amazon boxes. I pull up to this truck stop, which is where my packages were. So I got my stuff, I felt way better about it by then because I had most of my things. And then I had to hurry up and go to that Mac repair store, which was in the mall, like 30 minutes away. I go in and the guy is like, it's probably your charger, but I'm gonna run a diagnostic just in case. So he checked my battery was 100% fine. My computer was great. Thank you, Jesus. So I had been driving all day that day and because of like the stops I had to make, I was just so tired and I was also hungry. So I was like, you know what? I'm really feeling some Mexican food and I saw a Taco Bell. So I pull into this area and when I pull in, it was like, you can't go in this way to the drive-through. So I go in the other way and so i'm going in and i'm going around and i'm like this is the wrong way because like the i'm seeing the window i'm not seeing an ordering box i'm seeing like the actual window so i legit went the wrong way through the drive-thru luckily there was nobody in the drive-thru but i was going and then i passed by the window and the lady was just like what the heck and i passed by the ordering box had to come out turn my car around come back to the ordering box the correct way clearly i'm out of my mind she's like can i help you and i was like do you guys still have those power burritos and she's like 
no, we don't. And I was like, okay, thanks. So I back right the heck back out. And she's probably like, who is this chick from California plates? This, this girl is crazy. Well, you know what? I wanted a power burrito and I can't get it. So I'm just like not going to eat here. And then I was just like so tired. So I went into the parking lot of Walmart and I just kind of grabbed my pillow and just put it right here and just, you know, just kind of like laid down because it was still early, but this time change is messing me up. And so I fell asleep for like an hour. I woke up, I was like, dude, like I am so tired. Like maybe I could just like sleep here in the Walmart parking lot. I didn't see any signs, but then again, the two Walmarts or two or three Walmarts I had seen before all had signs, no parking. So I was like, oh, I don't feel like just messing around with it. And what if somebody taps on my window, I'm gonna be pissed. So I just got back up and I like, like, drove to like a residential neighborhood. I ended up just driving around for a long time because some of the areas looked really kind of like kind of rugged and there was people sleeping in tents and stuff and then there was like a lot of cars like run down cars on the streets and just I don't know I didn't feel like a hundred percent settled so I drove around for like at least 30 minutes just looking for a nice place in the Portland area the next day I get up went to this locker come to find out was in a hospital there was only paid parking and I was like I'm coming here to get my Amazon packages with free shipping I'm not trying to pay for parking I go into the parking garage it was like 15 minutes free so I was like listen I'm gonna just book it and find out where this Amazon locker is get in there and I park and have to take the elevator up and then I asked the lady where's your Amazon locker she goes oh it's all the way down in the emergency area so I have to take another elevator to down to the emergency and then there's this long corridor and then I ask another lady and then she's like oh no it's out those doors and it's to the right by the <sighs> so I finally like go out these doors and there's like just this shipping loading area and there's like construction trucks and stuff so I finally find this like these just like lockers outside in the middle of nowhere I'm like what is this once you get up to it it's very easy you just you know hit the buttons and then it opens up and you just get your stuff. So then as soon as I got my package, I was like running back. And then you have to validate your ticket in this machine. And there was two people ahead of me and I was like, oh my gosh, hurry up. But luckily the thing opened and let me out. Now I got my charging cable. I'm here in Seattle. I can relax, I think. I'm gonna go to a Panera. And I had all my stuff and I was plugging in everything like into the wall. I had this little like section of Panera that was just like my entertainment section. And I had everything just plugged in. I thought I probably thought I was crazy, but I didn't care because I finally had all my electronics. And then I was able to edit and post my first video. So if you haven't seen it, go check out why am I living in my car video because you're gonna like it. And then I was craving Thai food and then I saw a Thai food place across the street. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna get Thai food. And I sit there and eat the Pad Thai. And it was like, there was a funny taste to it. I was like, is something wrong with this Pad Thai or is this the like spices and flavorings that they use? I couldn't figure it out, but I tried to eat it because I spent the money on it, but I just couldn't. Like, I was like, this isn't, something's not right with this. And I was like mad because I spent 10 bucks. I wasn't going to take a chance because when you're living in your car, if you get diarrhea, you're going to be screwed like real bad. All right. From there, I went to in this really nice residential area. I didn't know how nice it was until I went to sleep and then I woke up in the morning and I was like, this is really beautiful. It had like all the fall leaves and like people's chimneys were going and it was just like so pretty all right so I have all my stuff I'm editing videos I'm posting videos and everything's going and so all my frustrations started to die down and then I'm like all right cool I'm super close only like a two and a half hours from Seattle to Vancouver so I get up and I'm just ready to go I got my coffee and I'm on my way and I get to Vancouver and I get detained and you're gonna have to wait for the video on that because that is a doozy stay tuned for all the Vancouver adventures and all of my travels all the way back down the west coast 